we no longer have the chains on our ankles and on our wrists, there you go, it's right there. Because one, we don't even know who we are. That's why the chains was removed to begin with, right? To the, that's why it was removed, that's why it was, because we was already destroyed in our mind. Yeah. They taken our heritage, our traditions, our customs, you know, they took our God and gave us another God to worship, right? right. So we, we was lost, we lost in the sauce, right? Because we don't, we no longer have a heritage. Because thou hearkenest uh, not uh, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. All these things, all these curses good. are placed on us because what? Read it one more time. Listen, good. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is the same thing that was mentioned in verse 15. Hearken diligently. All these, all these, uh, to the, to the commandments, all these curses are going to pursue you and overtake thee. Right? What else you got? Come on, keep, come on with it. To keep his commandments Read. and his statutes, Read. which he commanded thee. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And the, the they is the curses. We're still talking about the curses. And it says, and they shall be what? And they the shall curses. be upon thee for a sign. What is a sign? How do we know this is Buck Road Beach? What is this? What's the purpose of a sign? Whatever it is, what it's about. Right, right. So I know... Uh, if I'm riding on the highway, I'm looking for 64 West. I'm looking for a sign. Yeah. So the Most High God is giving us signs from way back in the day, from when we stumble back up on this Bible, that we can look in the Bible and, and see that we are the people that fit the scriptures of these curses. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? This is what this is. This is what this is for y'all right now. You understand what I'm saying? These curses, like damn, damn, slavery. All right. I, Yes, it's documented, it's facts, it's history. They can't do nothing with it, but try, but stop, but try to stop teaching this to our children that's coming up now. So when you ask a younger generation about slavery, they know nothing about it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Which also makes uh, makes it more important for us to sit there and teach our kids. Right. right? You understand what I'm saying? What you got? And they shall be upon thee. The curse is read. For a sign uh, and for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. Forever. Till Christ come back. Right. We're going to be wearing these things on our back like a jersey. You understand what I'm saying? But it's a way to escape these things. But we'll get to that later. We're going to keep reading through Deuteronomy 20. I want to keep proving these facts that this is our book. Right? Give me uh, Nah, I want to. Uh, give me 47. I want 47. Verse 47. Because thou serves not. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God, again. because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because you you because you decided not to serve the Lord thy God, right? You decided not to hearken diligently, diligently to his commandments, right? Read. With joyfulness and with gladness Read. of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Shall I do what? Uh. Shall thou serve thine enemies. No, our friends. Thine enemy he says, because of these reasons, we are going to serve our enemies. There's a, there's a separation, this whole thing. It's all about one nation. Right. You understand what I'm saying, Liz? You following, Liz? All right. Tony, you rocking. All right. What we got? Go to 48 real quick. There's still more. Read that for me. Then. Therefore uh -huh. shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. All right. Stop right there. So slavery, right? We said speaking about slavery and the Most High God just and stated that we shall serve our enemies. Now, if we look at these people, right, these, these pictures, who would the enemy be? Right. See, so, so, you following? You following? Look, hey, this is plain, right? This is like basic arithmetic right here. That's right. The Most High God said you, because of this, you're going to serve this particular nation because you was disloyal to me. You disobeyed my laws. Right? I didn't write this. Right? This are, these are God's words. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's either you're going to get with it or you're just going to get lost. You understand what I'm saying? Read verse 48. Because we have enemies. It's plain to see, but a lot of us will not sit there and it, it, we can't fathom of saying that. You said it, which is right. But a lot of us can't. We're still we're standing right here and they cannot admit it. But they know it. We can clearly see that we have enemies. You understand what I'm saying? Clearly see that. Read. Because if we didn't have any enemies, everything would be even across the board. There will be no, it will be a hood 
and it won't be like the nice neighbor. You understand know what I'm saying? It will be no different because we will all be on an even playing field. So there all it's always separation. Always, but they want to keep you uh, in it, uh, make you feel like you included from this, this illusion that you have uh, that you have the same rights that they do. But we don't have the we don't even get we don't even get uh, the same food delivered to our stores. You understand know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's in the hood. We're gonna deliver the the, uh, the better produce or the worst produce on this side and get, make sure we give them the good product. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, same as with medicine and ed education. It's the same thing. It's always separation. What you got? 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who did, who did it? Which the Lord shall send against thee. The most high God did that to us. You understand what I'm saying? He put these uh, he placed the the, uh, the enemies over us for uh being disobedient, right? In hunger, in hunger. And, and in thirst. Because we right now our, our people don't who who owns all the the uh what's the wrong for? The grocery stores, the farms, the uh, these things. Our, our our nation don't don't provide that. Matter of fact, Bill Gates is buying all of that up right now. Right. And we and, and we about to go through a famine as is. We are in a famine right now. Right? What else? In what? You said what else? In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. In thirst. We gotta pay for a free resource called water. In certain states, it's unlawful for you to catch rainwater. Right. You understand? This is something God given. It comes out of the out of the heavens. Hey, and in this nation, the Edomites, what are they? They're known in the, in the scriptures, the Caucasians, so-called Caucasians. Amorites, Yeah, they sit there and they, they, they tax, they want to monopolize and make money on all these things. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Keep going. And in nakedness. We don't we don't own textile mills. I know a pup daddy might have his name on a, a shirt, but yeah, but he ain't running nothing. We know that, right? That, that's all it is, right? And in want of all things. Death certificate, birth certificate, driver's license, passport, you name it. Cause uh 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 what's it called? Uh a gun permit, right, to to carry concealed. You gotta go see the man. You gotta see him when you're born, before he slap your cheeks, make you cry, make sure you're good, and, and when you take that final dirt nap. Yeah. You gotta go see him. Either way, what else we got? Read. Watch this, Tony and Liz. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who did that? Liz, you, you with me? You with me? Uh, all praises, all praises. Now, well, who, what nation do people put yokes of iron on their neck? The Caucasians, the, the so-called, I mean, the Edomites. They so-called Caucasian, but they're Edomites. Right. You know, their forefather is Esau. There you go. What's going on, Tony? Know something, man? You cooking, man. What's going on? Where you at? What else you got? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now that he is the enemy. Right? Read the first beginning of that verse and come back down to And therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Now jump back down to he. And he, the enemy, re, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. That's the same thing we were just discuss, discussing. Now that we have lost our way and we have been taken from our heritage, Jeremiah 17, and we've been taken from our heritage, we don't know who we are. So therefore, when we see each other, you know, crossing the street, we don't see each other as, as brothers. Right? Because we got this in our mind. We'll treat them with, you know, Love and kindness, you won't go mess up his neighborhood, but we'll tie our own under but we gonna tie our own stuff up. We know we're supposed to see Christ in each other. That was and, and put a stop to black on black crime because I see Christ in my brother right, right. there. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to crucify Christ. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? But that's the that's the trick back that on the disc right here has placed has been placed on our people. And we're here to clear up all that gun. Right. You understand? Now watch this. I said we would be discontinued from our heritage. Well, we were destroyed, right? Mentally. We were destroyed, so they took the chains off. They took the yokes off. Read. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, uh -huh. shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. That the most high God gave us. Because we're not, we're not seeing, um, we're not celebrating the high holy days of Leviticus 23. 
Passover, Tabernacles, New Moons, Sabbath days, right? Right? The Feast of Pentecost, the first, Feast of First Fruits. We're not doing these things anymore because we don't know of them. You understand? We've been given, let me go down the list. We've been given uh, Martin Luther King Day. We've been given Valentine's Day. What's March? We've been given Easter. We've been given St. Patty's Day. We've been given, we've been given Christmas. We've been given Thanksgiving. Every month is some foolishness, bro. Right. Every month yeah. is some foolishness. Birthdays. Not supposed to be celebrating that either. What else is uh? Oh, hold on. Oh, give me one of Cinco de Mayo. That ain't us either. Memorial Day. Juneteenth. That ain't ours either. Right. Juneteenth ain't ours either. Sunday night even ours. No, Sunday. Because Sundays are uh, Sundays is uh, when pagans worship the sun guy, right? right. Right, but the seventh, so what's the, the first day of the week? See, I'm about to, you about to have me jumping first on something else. The first day of the week is what? Man, you, you got to get on the camera, man. Yeah. Say that again for me, Brother Tony. The first day of the week is Sunday. Right, and they teach not on the circle of calendar, but they don't look at it. Come on, yeah, but, they, but they know we're not going to look at it. What's that saying? How does that saying go? If you want to have something from a black man, you put, put it in, in the book. Come on with Come it, on. man. Right? I tell you that put it in the right. book. And that's true. And what, what do we read? Because it used to be unlawful for us to read under yes. this, right? Yes. But we can read now. Right. Come on, come on, come we can on, read come now. On. Give me your, uh, what you got? Would you finish on that? Keep reading. And thou, even thyself, uh. shalt discontinue from thine heritage. You shall no longer celebrate the custom and traditions that your father gave you. That's read. That I gave thee. That he gave you. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. Come on, he said it again. Now, we are all the way in the book of Jeremiah. Right? God never changes. The message never changes. Right? What, what, what happened was, the book was closed. Because like I said, it was unlawful for us to read it. We couldn't read. Because when we when we, got, when we came off those slave ships, we wasn't speaking English. We were speaking Hebrew. So we couldn't read. We could, the majority of us could not read. Or we had to be taught English to read. Right? So what they would do, just like what they do in these Christian churches today, they yeah. give you some feel good yeah. to suffer. Well, how you say that? How that saying go? Uh, suffer peacefully. peacefully. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's all they give us in these churches, man. Yeah. To suffer peacefully. They're not giving you the keys to the kingdom. They're right. not. They're not teaching you what salvation or how to get salvation. That is, you know, they teach you how to be a good. How can I say this? Say it again. That's that's good. How to be a good one, right? And just continue to obey your masters and your oppressor and then die. And you will hopefully you gonna get this big pie in the sky. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. We didn't know this land, you know what we we they read. I don't know if they For ye uh -huh. have kindled a fire in mine anger. We now that we have made the most high God angry, right? Read. Which shall burn forever. Hold on. Get a little bit more fire. I'm sorry. Just a little bit more. Right? So we, we kindle the fire in the most high God's anger. That's why he, he placed a certain nation over us. Right? He placed a, it's a, it's a butt whipping. That's all it is. Right. Right? It's a little spanking, a little discipline, right? Because we was we was we were out here running butt wild. Like we are today. Which is why we die in the streets the way we do, why we died the, the certain deaths we die. Right? Ain't nobody die like George Floyd die. I mean, ain't another nation die like that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We get the most crucial deaths. You understand what I'm saying? How long, how long do you sit on my man's neck? Eight minutes? This, 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 hey, you got, you just died. You died from somebody kneeing on your neck to death. Who else suffered atrocities like that? Right. Other than the Israelites. They don't remember how Christ died, right? On a cross, man. Yeah. And pierced. And the side. And give, huh? Give blood from it. Come on, man. I got you. We're being executed the same way Christ was executed. Over and over and over again. What you got? Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. So the most I got said, you know what? That's it. I'm done. Until y'all get right. Then I'll come back. When you when you when you come back and get things correct, then I will hear you. But until then. But whooping time. You know what I'm saying? Until then, you're going to go through these atrocities, right? And these travesties, right? Right? 
until they acknowledge their offense. So they do what? Acknowledge their offense. So when you pick this book up, you have to acknowledge the wrong that you have been doing. And once you acknowledge that, that's the beginning process of repentance. Right. Right? The repentance. It's like saying like, uh, excuse me. It's like you told your son to clean the room. Right? Clean the room before I get home. You come back, room ain't clean. Right? You have a conversation, uh, the, the child comes back, he's like, Dad, I'm sorry, uh, I, no, it's my fault. I messed up. I, I, I didn't do the things you told me to do. I'm sorry. Contrite, I mean, like, sincerely, that is a form of repentance. That's what we're supposed to do unto the Lord. First right. Kings 8, well, keep reading that, but I want First Kings 8, all right? To they acknowledge their offense. So we got to acknowledge, and I, this is the thing, though. If you do not know what sin is, how can you pray for forgiveness? You can't. You don't know what you're doing wrong. You have to know what you're doing wrong to be sorry, to be sincere about it, right? But I hate to say, Lord, just forgive me. I know I've sinned. The Lord's like, yeah, I know you have, but what was it? What are you What are you sorry about? Right. How are you going to change if you don't even know what you're doing wrong? Teach. Right? Read. And seek my face. And do what? And seek my face. Read. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. That's what this is right here. All these things, that's affliction. Cursed in the city, cursed in the field, right? Baby mamas, baby daddies, right? Our little children out here dressed like whores. That's, that's a curse. Because the most high give us dress codes. What to eat, what to wear, how to speak, right? That's right. These are things we give to, but this this right here, what they said it was again? Uh, hey, seek me early in thy affliction. First fired, last hired. Right? You got to live what before you get your pension, your security check, and it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get you don't reach that age because it might be some young other brother that had to had to prove himself and he he shoots you. Now you you can't get you can't it's it's a trap, bro. It's a it's a setup. Right. You got a lot of, lot of things against you before you can make it. What is it? 65 for retirement now? What is it? And they keep moving that bad boy up. They keep right. moving it up. That's right. But the life expectancy is very short for us. Right? So it's not even like it's, it's out there like a carrot. Dang, I'm, and you and you spend your whole life trying to get that carrot. You never get it. Come on now. You understand what I'm saying? But this is how the world is set up. Right? But this, but things are going to be turned back around. Things are going to be turned back around when Christ comes back. We're going to be back on top. And they're going to be our service and handmaids. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth